Hey everybody, Scotty Steph, VP of Product here at Tangle with another Tangle tutorial video. This time I'll be talking about how to navigate your Tangle, find your teammates, and get comfortable. If you've watched some of our previous Tangle tutorial videos, you'll notice that I'm in a room with a closed door so that I don't interrupt my teammates while talking, but I put up a status to let them know what's going on. We don't think that the part of the office that people miss is the office building. We think they miss being in teams and feeling collaborative, and that's why we base Tangle around an open canvas to give you the freedom to collaborate in a way that best represents your team's spirit and style. It also means getting used to a few new, but pretty simple concepts. To drive this point home, I'm actually recording this video here on our live Tangle server that we use every day to create and collaborate on building Tangle. Our team is definitely vibrant, fun, and a little chaotic, and I think our Tangle reflects that. So the first basic control to get used to is zooming in and out. To zoom in and out, you can use your mouse wheel, or you can use the zoom in and out buttons on the UI navigation bar down here. You can also right click on the tangle and select zoom in or zoom out, or you can use the plus and minus keys on your keyboard. The second thing that you need to know is how to move the tangle around, how to pan around your tangle. You've got a couple options for this. One is to use your middle mouse button. If you hold down your middle mouse button, you'll drag this around. The other is to swap into move mode. You can swap into move mode by hitting spacebar and then just dragging your tangle around. You can also swap into move mode by hitting the hand icon down here on the navigation bar. If you want to get out of move mode, just go ahead and click it again or hit spacebar. Your third best option is to use the user list up here in the right hand corner. A user list will show you a list of all of the users and all of the rooms currently on your Tangle. So let's look at the list of users. It's still pretty early in the morning here in, at Tangle, um, and it's during holiday week, so there aren't too many people on Tangle right now, but you'll see that there are four other folks here, Dan, John, myself, and Tejas. If I wanted to go talk to Dan, all I would have to do is click on Dan's name, and it, the camera will focus on their room. Same with John, or with Tejas. And then if I wanted to join their room, all I would have to do is click on that door. I'm going to leave Dan alone while I'm recording this video, but you can see how easy it is to find specific people. Well, let's say everybody was going to go meet in the barn, but I'm new to Tangle and I don't know where the barn is. Well, it's easy enough. I went to the room list and, oh, here it is, the barn. If I click on this, my camera will focus on the barn. Or if I want to go find Rick's homeroom and I don't know where it is, no problem. Let's click on Rick's homeroom. My camera will focus there. So you can see how easy it is to find your way around a tangle just by using that user list. There are also two really helpful hotkeys if you find yourself lost in a tangle. F will show you your whole tangle, but if you press it again, it'll focus directly on your user panel. So you can also find this via the uh, navigation UI toolbar right down here, this icon here. Focus. We'll show you your whole tangle, but then just you. Whole tangle? Just you. So if you get lost, you're scrolling around, you're zoomed in, you don't know where you are anymore, oh boy, where am I? Just go ahead and hit that focus button and you'll find yourself right away. Another button that's really helpful is let's say I go to a meeting in the barn. I head on over to the barn, we have our meeting, everybody has a great time, and now I want to go back to my homeroom. But I don't know where my homeroom is. Just hit H and you'll zap right back to your homeroom from wherever you are in Tangle. Finally, you get to define what your tangle looks like. And let's talk about that back in our onboarding server where things are a little cleaner. All right, I pop back over here to our onboarding server. So one of your options in tangle is that you could set up a tangle that has really neat organized rows with clear department markings. And that's great. Remember that you can click into edit mode and move a room at any point in time. No problem. So if you'd like to reorganize your Tangle at any moment, you can do that. You'll see here in our onboarding server, we keep things pretty tidy. It's not really the organic, freewheeling chaos of our Tangle server. It's completely up to you. Tangle gives you the freedom to arrange your team and your work as you see fit. 
And if you understand that zoom, grab, and user list function, then you can find your way around any tangle, even ours. As per usual, if you have questions, suggestions, comments, you can hit up our support page, or you can send me an email, scottstefan at absurdjoy.com. Hey, I'll talk to you soon.